My novel, Lilac Girls, is based on a true story of how philanthropist Caroline Faraday brought a group of Polish survivors of a concentration camp to the United States. My journey writing Lilac Girls all started here at the Bellamy Faraday House, this beautiful summer home of the Faraday family that Caroline called The Hay. I carried around a clipping in my wallet for months from Victoria Magazine. The title of it was Caroline's Incredible Lilacs, and it showed her a beautiful garden that she and her mother had planted. I thought, I need to see this house. One gray Mother's Day after my mother died, my husband said, I'll take care of the kids, you go up to that house, and I did. And I came up here and I was the only person on the tour that day. And I was so lucky because I got to ask every question and I fell in love with Caroline just walking around her home. She worked at the French consulate in New York during the war. She set up a whole organization that supported orphan children of French resistance fighters. And after the war, France awarded her the French Legion of Honor and the Cross of Lorraine. Caroline used her old manual Remington typewriter as a weapon. She was very vocal about civil rights. She started the first black bank in Harlem. She sought out injustices around the world, and she used correspondence to make sure people knew about it. At the end of the tour, you come out to the landing outside of Caroline's bedroom and see her desk just as she left it. And there was a photograph of smiling middle-aged women. And I asked the tour guide, who are those people? And she said, oh, those are the rabbits. They were Polish women that were operated on at Ravensburg concentration camp, Hitler's only all-female concentration camp in Germany, to test sulfur drugs. And the Nazis, not only used them as their laboratory animals, but after the experiments, the women hopped about the camp. So the Nazis nicknamed them the rabbits. Caroline Faraday heard about them through her French friends and brought them to the United States. She rallied America behind them with the help of Norman Cousins at the Saturday Review and brought them to the United States for rehabilitation. Several of them actually stayed here. They were lucky enough to stay with Caroline. So once I heard that story, I, I couldn't get it out of my head and I had to learn more about Caroline. I went on a 10-year journey to find any clue that I could find about not only Caroline, but the rabbits as well. Also Herta Oberhauser, who was one of the doctors at Ravensburg concentration camp. So I started working in the archives here and it would come up on the weekends and just soak in Caroline. And, and fortunately she kept everything. So it was really helpful. And then I felt like I had to go to Paris, where her second archive is, and find out more there, and also to Germany to see Ravensburg for myself. Lublin, Poland, where the women were first arrested when they were working in the underground. And I took the same train ride that they did from Warsaw to Berlin and then up to uh, Furstenberg, where the concentration camp is. So it was an incredible journey, and it all started here at the house. I think we can never have too much Caroline Faraday because she always did the right thing.